Here's the latest on Joran van der Sloot. Police in Peru this morning say that he told them that he knows where to find Natalie Holloway's body in Aruba. It's reportedly part of a plea deal with Peruvian authorities for a lighter sentence in the death of another woman. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano is here with the latest. Good morning. Good morning to you, Maggie. Well, Joran van der Sloot's attempted plea bargain reportedly would result in a nine-year sentence for killing Stephanie Flores. The deal would consist of Vandersloot pleading guilty to a lesser charge of emotional violence. On Thursday, he was transferred to a jail cell in the prosecutor's office as investigators build their case against him. According to preliminary diagnostics, it fits into the picture of a violent psychopath who has no control over his emotions. Vandersloot is also talking more about the disappearance of American Natalie Holloway. Peruvian police say he claims to know where her remains are buried, but says he will only speak further to authorities in Aruba. That's where Vandersloot beat charges of her 2005 murder. But experts believe his confession in Peru is likely to lead to a conviction. He faces a maximum of 35 years. It could be leniency because he confessed. Uh, however, there are you know, many who feel that he won't get leniency because of the particular circumstances here. In the U.S., he faces extortion and wire fraud charges. An FBI affidavit unsealed Thursday is shedding new light on that case. The document reveals how Vandersloot negotiated the terms of an extortion deal between him and Natalie Holloway's mother, Beth. In exchange for $250,000, Vandersloot promised to reveal the location of Natalie's body. The 22-year-old claimed he had, quote, thrown Natalie to the ground and that she hit her head on a rock and died as a result of the impact. In the Flores case, based on his confession and evidence, including surveillance video from the night of the Flores crime, Peruvian police feel they have a strong case. Now, as part of van der Sloot's plea agreement, his attorney wants the court to dismiss his client's original confession, which he believes was coerced. Maggie. Elaine Quijano. Thank you, Elaine. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.